clouds, beautiful to look at, a nightmare to animate. To get realistic results, you'll need to have experience with VFX and smoke simulations, a powerful computer, and lots of time on your hands. Or do you? Well, if I told you you can achieve dynamic, animated clouds in Blender, all with just a few keyframes and a noise texture. First, let's open a fresh blend file and delete everything in the scene. We'll also hide the overlays to reduce clutter. Then, go to the shader editor, switch to world, click your background node and press Control T, making sure that Node Wrangler is enabled in the add-ons. This will append a texture coordinate, mapping and environment texture node to your background node. Now we need to add our HDRI. Click Open on the Environment Texture node, then navigate to your HDRI. I'm using the Rural Asphalt Road HDRI from Polyhaven, but any HDRI with nice, clean, high contrast clouds will work. So we can see our HDRI, switch to Rendered View. Now, we want the clouds to move across the sky, so we're going to mimic this by animating the Y location on the mapping node. Open up another editor window and switch to Timeline. Make sure you're on frame 1, then hover over the Y location on your mapping node and hit I, which will add a keyframe. To ensure that your newly created keyframe is visible on the timeline, go to the View drop-down and make sure you've deselected Only Show Selected. Your keyframe should now be visible as a diamond icon. Then go to the last frame, type 0.2 into the Y location field and add another keyframe. We want to make sure that the location changes constantly from the first to last frame. So make sure both keyframes are highlighted in yellow, hit T to go to the keyframe interpolation menu and select linear. Now, our clouds move smoothly across the sky. But clouds don't just drift across the sky, they're dynamic. They stretch and deform and change shape, and we're going to be mimicking this movement with the nifty use of a noise texture. First, add a noise texture and set the detail to 15 and the distortion to 0.2. Then, add a mix node. We're going to mix the texture coordinates from our mapping node, which dictate how the HDRI will be mapped onto our scene with our noise texture. Set the mix node to vector, and then connect the outputs of the mapping and noise texture nodes to the first and second inputs respectively. Connect the output to the input of the environment texture node. As we increase the factor on the mix node, the noise texture will have a greater and greater impact on the mapping of the HDRI, and the clouds will look more and more distorted. By animating this factor, the clouds will slowly swirl and distort over time. Go to the first frame, make sure the factor is set to zero, and add a keyframe. Then go to the final frame, change the factor to 0.075 and add another keyframe. Set the interpolation to linear as we did with the previous keyframes. Now, when we hit play, we will see that the clouds move gently across the sky, but they're not static, they're dynamic, swirling and deforming as real clouds do, all without the need for any complex simulations or expensive video HDRIs. Feel free to tweak the noise texture and the factor on the mix node to adjust the strength and speed of the cloud's distortion. Thanks for watching and happy rendering.